Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 12th of 2019. Well, it is titled NGC 3717, a nearly sideways spiral galaxy. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a spiral galaxy. However, when we look at it, we don't see the spiral arms as we've seen in others. And that is because of the perspective from which we are seeing it. Instead of looking face down on it, we are seeing it edge on. Spiral galaxies are very flat. And therefore, when we look at them edge on, they look very thin. And of course, when we look at them, we're looking across the spiral arms. So we cannot see the spiral arms in an image like this. It doesn't mean that the galaxy does not have spiral arms. It simply means that we cannot see them from our perspective. And we only get to view a galaxy from one specific perspective, however it happens to be orientated towards the Earth. So if it's edge on, that's all we can see is an edge on view. And if it's face on, that's all we can see is the face on view. So we cannot always see the spiral arms, but we get to see galaxies from various different perspectives. Now, why are galaxies so flattened? Well, not all of them are, but spiral galaxies are. And we believe that when they formed, that they went through a stages of formation and that as they began to collapse and stars formed, stars would have formed in a more of a spherical halo around these galaxies. Now stars are very small relative to the distances between them, so they never collide. But large gas clouds would and as they do, they lose energy and would fall down into a flat disk around the central portions of the galaxy. So some stars would remain around this galaxy, but the gas and dust would then collapse down into a disk and flatten to a disk, which would remain to this day. And that is part of how we believe galaxies have formed from uh, something larger that collapsed down. And they also form and grow through collisions over time. Now as we look around this image we see a lot of other things in it too and in fact there's a very bright star apparently in this galaxy and that actually is not a part of this galaxy but is part of our own galaxy that is a star within our Milky Way which just happens to be in the same exact direction as this galaxy. So that is actually much closer, maybe only hundreds or a thousand light years away, as compared to the galaxy, which would be 60 million light years away. So we lose that distance perspective, it actually looks like that star might be a part of this galaxy that we're looking at. But in reality, it has no association with this galaxy at all, except for the fact that it happens to be in that direction. And as you look around the image, you'll see other stars in the image. Those are also stars within our galaxy. At 60 million light years, it would be very difficult at this resolution to be able to see individual stars within another galaxy. So that was our picture of the day for November the 12th of 2019. It was titled NGC 3717, a nearly sideways spiral galaxy. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be a spot on the sun. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.